Tony and Corey here, your Weekend Warriors. Today we're going to show you an easy way to vent your soffit. All right, Corey, we're standing in front of the studio that we converted from a shed. And when we did that, we had no intention of being inside, occupying the interior of this. So we didn't put any venting in the eaves. Well, since then, we've enclosed that with sheetrock inside there, and there's a potential condensation situation now in the roof structure. Right, we've created a situation in there where we could potentially trap moisture at the roof deck. And in the winter time, we're gonna have a problem because we're heating that thing on the inside. And since it's cold outside, you're creating a dew point somewhere inside of the structure. All that moisture is gonna rise through the, the ceiling, through the insulation, and then it's gonna wanna condensate on the next surface that it hits. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you an easy way using these two inch mini screen vents. We're gonna drill holes and install these in every other bay on the front and the back, and it'll be super ventilated. Give that moisture a place to go. Absolutely, so let's get that started. So I'm just gonna do one in every other bay, and I can see where my roof rafters are, because I can see my nail lines. So I'm gonna go right smack in the middle on every other one. You know, each of those bays are individual compartments. You applied the sheetrock directly tight to the bottom of the two x 10, and the OSB to the top of the two x 10. So venting every other one will still leave every other one susceptible. Yeah, you're right. We should probably vent every one of them then. All right, this is a really simple process. These little vents here have uh, dimples on the sides and these dimples will grip the sheeting as we push it up in there. So it doesn't really need to be sealed around. It's got a screen in here to keep bugs out. And so it's really as simple as measuring both directions so that they all are uniformly in a line, especially if you're putting five across the face of a finished shed space or studio space. Drill the hole with a two inch hole saw push this in, the dimples grab the sheeting, and it doesn't come out. It's really as simple as that. Yeah, Tony, this is easy, but it is notable that these mini screen vents come in a multitude of sizes from one inch all the way up to six inch. Now it's important that when you're installing these louvered mini vents into a soffit, that you face the vents towards the house, or in this case, our shed. Now that's the last one. Do I have something in my eye? <laughs> All right, Corey, that was obviously a very simple project. If you compare how easy that was to how much liability you have potentially with a water problem, it's crazy not to do it. Yeah, you'll see a water condensation problem typically in any sealed place, uh, like in a roof that's not ventilated properly, you'll get that water vapor that'll condensate on the roof deck. And then what'll happen is it'll drip down onto your insulation, either ruining your insulation, reducing its effectiveness, or at the very worst, you're rotting the plywood on your roof deck. And you've got mold and mildew issues which cause allergies and it's not gonna be a good situation anyway you look at it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below as well. Thanks for watching. This has been another episode of Your Weekend Warriors Home Improvement Show. We'll see you next time.